Hello and welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorials channel. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to install KVM or kernel based virtual machine on Debian. The way I will demonstrate here is the same on Ubuntu or any other Debian based Linux systems. The first step is to update the system to ensure that we have the latest packages and dependencies. Open the terminal and execute the command sudo space apt space update space hyphen y. Now let's install the necessary KVM packages. In the terminal, run the command sudo apt install kmu kvm libot clients libot daemon system bert inst bridge utils space hyphen y. This command will install the required packages for KVM, including the kmu libbert bridge utils and bert inst. Next, to allow the current user to access and manage virtual machines, we need to add the user to the libbert group as this command adds the current user to the libbert group. Next, we need to enable and start the libbert service, which is responsible for managing virtualization on the system. Execute the commands sudo systemctl start libbertd and sudo systemctl enable libbertd. Let's also check if the kvm is running or not with the ls mode command and grip the kvm. As you can see, the kvm is installed and loaded properly. Moving on, let's configure networking. First, let's list all the network configurations defined in libbert, a virtualization API library by running the command sudo verse net dash list space dash dash all as you can see there is only the default network configuration the state is inactive and the auto start is disabled so let's start it to make it active by executing the command sudo verse net dash start and the configuration name which in our case is default as you can see the default network is started and checking the status we can see the status is active also, let's enable auto start by running the command sudo first net dash auto start default. Check the auto start status. You will find it yes. Next, let's instruct the system to load the vhost underscore net module into the kernel if it is available by running the command sudo mod prob vhost underscore net. This module is necessary for proper networking functionality in KVM when using BERT I.O. network devices. Next, let's configure the system to load the networking kernel modules at boot time. We have to configure it to a file named slash etc slash modules. So let's open the file, change the editor to the insert mode, write bhost underscore net, save the changes on the file and exit. Moving on, let's create a bridge network so that the virtual machines get the IP addresses of the same range as the host machine. We will have to define the bridge network configuration on a file named interfaces, which is located on the slash etc slash network directory. Let's create a backup of the file by creating a copy of it. Also verify if the file is created. Yes, we can see the backup file with the .bak extension. Then open the file and add the bridge network configurations as I do. Please keep in mind that the address, broadcast, netmask, gateway and the bridge underscore post value should be the name of the main physical network interface of your host machine. If you are not sure what is the name, you can query it with IP space A command.
then save the file and exit by pressing the escape key and typing colon x. After configuring the bridge interface, you should restart the network by running the command sudo systemctl reload network or networking.service. That's all. If you run the IP A command, you should see the additional network interface. Okay guys, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to create virtual machines and configure static IPs on the virtual machines. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you and have a great time.